Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'll be teaching you how to create an email address, a Gmail specifically, on your Android phone. Why? You need an email to receive and send documents and messages to your attorney. So, with your phone already uh, at the home screen, open up your web browser, be that Google Chrome or whatever other browser you might have, and uh, you might have Google up. You're going to want to go to gmail.com, g-m-a-i-l.com. Once the website is loaded, you're going to go ahead and click Get Gmail. Now, on your Android phone, you're going to have a couple of things pop up. Um, for this one, let's stay on Metro Web and see what happens here. It's just going to take you to the Gmail app install, essentially. So whether you're on a browser or not, that's what it will do. So I'm clicking Sign In to see what comes up. And when you see a screen like this, you're going to click Create Account. And you're gonna, it's going to ask you right here, for myself or to manage my business? You're going to click for myself. Wherever you end up, once you actually click to create an account or to sign up, you want to do for myself or any message for create account to get to these steps. So we have a first name. So you're going to want to enter your first name here and the last name. Your username. And this can be anything you want it to be, but make it something memorable. I'm just going to go ahead and do this number, or it may also suggest some. For a password, you're going to want to do whatever password that you may remember. But it's got to be eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So just go ahead and think of a password that fits that. I'm going to go ahead and enter one now. And then once you type your password, it asks you to confirm it to make sure that you typed it correctly the first time. So go ahead and type it again. Once you have that, go ahead and press Next. So my username that I typed in was already taken. So we have to try another one. Available, here's in the suggestion, was doe98463. I'm going to go ahead and put that so we can proceed with this tutorial. So now it wants a phone number. This is where you want to put your phone number. It is optional on the Google account, but it will be required later for usage through something else like WhatsApp. So enter your phone number here, and then we can proceed from there. Once your phone number is entered, then it's going to ask for stuff like uh, birthday and such. So we're going to do a birthday here. It's going to ask for your gender, and you can ma make a selection here, and then press Next. You will be getting a message of uh, terms and agreements here, and you just want to scroll down to the bottom, press I agree. And the email account is created. With that done, you want to install or open the Gmail app on your phone. Gmail should be default on every Android phone out there, so it should be in your home button, like if you click the drawer here as well. And it could be in here anywhere. You can search Gmail using the search button at the top, GM, and there it is, Gmail. Or if you're here, you can see Google, and Gmail is right there. And it says, Welcome to Gmail. Press Done, and we want to add an email address. This is where we add the account that we just created. And this is where you enter the sign-in information that we just created. So I went ahead and typed in the email account. That was doe98463 at gmail.com. G-M-A-I-L dot com. And then you type in your password.
once you've typed in your password and press next it will ask you another message go ahead and proceed from there accept and agree to any messages that come up and the Google account including the Gmail will be added to your phone for you to check your email we'll pull up the Gmail app once it's done checking for information right now go ahead and accept any other messages that pop up and once you're at this screen you can click take me to Gmail and here we are. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And as you can see, it's going to ask you to choose a view. Let's just go with default. Press OK there. And this is the Gmail. There's nothing in the inbox yet because it's a fresh account. Let's go ahead and send a test email just to verify that it works. See, compose message. We don't need to worry about the from part. That's coming from your own account. Two, we're going to do it to myself. So let's do the same email address. DOE98463. At Gmail. Dot com. And we're going to call it test. E E S T T E Oops T E S T T well that'll work. Let's go ahead and send this test email and we should see it pop up on this phone in just a minute here. Now there are so all sorts of options that you'll see here in Gmail, uh, like try notifications for high priority emails. Let's go ahead and turn it off. We'll put that in no thanks. We want notifications for every email. And to verify that the email worked, I sent myself a test email and there it is, right there at the top. You can select an email just like that to open it up. And then once you select it and open it, you'll be able to read it. And this one, it'll just say test once it finishes loading. It shouldn't take too long to load. It all depends on the internet speed of your connection, whether you're on Wi-Fi or on your mobile data. And there it is. And that's how to create an email account through Gmail and open Gmail on your phone to be able to view those messages.